All communities are diverse and different, so it's really important to understand exactly who is in your community. To assist with engaging multicultural groups, CFA can arrange for accredited interpreters at events or presentations. For example, a farmer in Gippsland recently organised for a Vietnamese interpreter to speak to his seasonal workers at the Wiera fire station. Publications such as Can I, Can't I are also available in multiple languages. Paul Smith at Corio has a great example about understanding exactly who is in the Corio community and the steps the brigade has taken to reach them. In Corio we have quite a diverse population. Uh, for example, we have over 70 ethnic groups with, on a local council within our area. Uh, we have a high percentage of people living in economic adversity uh, who are going without basic resources on a daily basis. We have a high number of uh, vulnerable and disadvantaged youth and also we have the state's highest number of regional settlement of new arrivals. For example, we have a, a large Karen Kareni community within our own community who come from the Thai-Burma border. And also we have a high number of Eastern European migrants uh, living within our community as well. A platoon at Karaya's uh, functional role is community safety, which we like to refer to as community engagement. We've adopted some key guiding principles and one of them has been to build trusting and meaningful relationships within our own community in a way that is sustainable uh, as opposed to one-off encounters. This, this allows the relationships to fully mature and blossom. Uh, we've adopted some innovative methods and strategies uh, and taken a place-based approach which has allowed us to cater for our entire community's needs. We can attribute a lot of our success to a number of contributing factors. Some of those include uh, enormous support from our officer in charge and at some point in time the entire integrated Corio Fire Brigade has contributed or been involved in some way. Firefighters are very well respected within our community so we can use this to our advantage as the groundwork is already there uh, to help build and foster these relationships. So by simply going and knocking on our community group's doors and informing them of the services that we can offer then nine times out of the ten these services are gratefully accepted. So now you've seen what some brigades and members are doing across the state. It's important to note that it's not one size that fits all. Many different approaches to promoting fire safety and building community engagement can be supported. The level of participation you choose is entirely up to you. Hopefully, this has inspired you to get more involved or to try something new. Keep in mind that some members will only want to jump on the back of a fire truck and turn out, and that's fine. But let's encourage those who do want to be involved in engaging their community. Small changes can make a big difference, so add it to the agenda at the brigade meeting. Assign someone passionate to the role in your brigade and learn to recognise community engagement. You will start to see more opportunities. Lindsay Pritchard from Clunes has some more tips on building support to drive fire safety activities within your own brigade. <music>